Hi everyone, it's Sam from 20 Telly and today I'm going to show you how to create an announcement on FreePBX version 16. I'm using the official FreePBX distro with the most up-to-date system and stable modules as of the 25th of April 2023. So the first thing we need to do is log in by clicking on the FreePBX administration icon and filling in the administrator username and password. When you log in, you'll be presented with the dashboard page. We're going to go up to applications, down to announcements and add an announcement. An announcement is really useful at the beginning and end of a call flow. It can be used to add a temporary message at the beginning if you have something such as unexpected high call volumes that you would like your customers to be aware of. And it can be used at the end if voicemail isn't needed, but you do want to play a message to your callers to give them more instruction or information, such as advising them of your opening times and to call again another time. I'm going to use both of these examples today. So the first one I'm going to use is high call volumes. So I'll put this as my description. And then underneath we have recording. So we've got a drop down of all of our recordings that are in system recordings. If you don't know how to do these, I have done another video that you can watch. But we'll use one that we've got ready here now. So I'm going to use my high call volumes recording and we'll go down to repeat. So do you want to give your customer the ability to repeat the recording that's just been played? If you do want to do this, remember to actually put it in the recording. So, for example, if you'd like to listen to the recording again, please press nine. And then in the drop down here are all of the options that you can choose from. So you've got zero through to nine star and hash. I'm going to leave mine as disabled and we'll go down to allow skip. So do you want to give your caller the ability to skip the recording and carry on through the call flow? For high call volumes, I would like the customer to listen to the message and be aware that they might be waiting longer than normal. Uh, so I'm just going to leave this one as no so they can listen to the whole thing. We'll then go down to return to IVR. So if your announcement has come from an IVR, do you want to send the caller back to the IVR once the recording has been played? I'm going to leave this one as no. And we'll go down to don't answer channel. So the normal and recommended setting for this is no, which means the call is answered and the message is played. If you would rather play this message as early media to the caller, so the media begins to flow before the call is officially connected, you can set this to yes. However, this is not recommended as many phone carriers do not support early media for sending audio messages. So I'm going to leave this one as no. Destination after playback, where do you want to send your call out once the announcement has been played? So if you click on the drop down, you've got all the different options. I'm going to send mine to my support queue, which is here. And then all we need to do now on this page is click submit. So you can now see that our high call volumes announcement has been created and we want to include this within our setup. So if we go to the top and we go to our inbound routes, which is the beginning of the call, and it goes to our time conditions. So if we click on time conditions, we can then see that we go to the IVR. We want the announcement to be played after the IVR because we might only have high call volumes on our support line rather than on sales. So if we go up to applications and we go down to our IVR and edit our menu options, we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can see that option two is queue support. So we'll then change this to our announcement, which is high call volumes. And then within high call volumes, once the message has been played, it will then go over to the queue. So if we then click submit, and that's our temporary message created and put into our setup. So we go up to applications, back down to announcements, and we're going to add another announcement. And this time it's going to be at the end of our call rather than at the beginning. So the description I'm going to put in here, opening times. And my recording, if you look on the drop down, we've got our opening times recording here. And then we've got repeat. So on this recording, I've actually said, if you want to listen to our opening times again, please press nine. So on the drop down, we'll choose nine. 
So when the caller presses nine on their keypad, it will then play the message again. Allow skip, I'm going to say no. There's nowhere else for the caller to go once this announcement has been played. So we'll leave this one as it is. Return to IVR, the announcement won't have come from the IVR, so we'll leave this one as no as well. And then we've got our don't answer channel, so we leave that one as it is. And then finally, we've got destination after playback. Well, it's the end of the call, so we're going to have the caller hang up. So if we choose our options here, we scroll down and we've got terminate call and then hang up. So nice and simple, all we need to do now is click submit. So you can now see we've got our second announcement opening times. We want to add this to our setup as well. So if I go up to applications, we'll go down to queues. We will edit our queue. And currently at the moment, our failover destination is terminate call hang up. We want to change this to go to announcements. Make sure you choose the correct announcement. So opening times and then click submit. We've now created our announcements and added them to our setup. And to apply all changes, press the apply config button in the top right hand corner. So that's everything we're going to cover today. If you found it useful, please like, comment, share. And if you want to see more like this, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.